Hello and uh, welcome to this short video about the Job Bean Ice Cave in the Madison Lake Highlands volcanic area in Northern California. And this is uh, in this area there are many caves to be found because this is a large area with volcanic activity and. Uh, and this is one of the more easily accessible and known ice caves. It's uh, right off the, the road, mm. like Forest Road 49, I believe it was. And so, so just a short walk from the road, there's a little parking area and you can, you get to this uh, depression in the, the ground and there's a little trail where you can go down into the cave which you'll see here on the, the right hand side so it's a careful climbing over the rocks we're going down and even though as you can see it's not very deep it's not very uh, far underground it's not very deep inside the ground but as you walk into this cave the temperature drops dramatically um, I'm not sure how many degrees I mean but Inside this cave, and you can see towards the back, there is still ice. While outside it was something around 80 degrees Fahrenheit, inside it was uh, considerably cooler. And why this ice stays here? I'm not sure. Like in the winter time, this is. This is all covered under snow and you can't even get into this area. Um, the roads are not maintained. This is a remote area. But even in the summer, uh, some caves like this one, it still remains very cold and you will still see ice formations. As you see here, uh, deeper down. And this is uh, <clears throat> close to a lake, Madison Lake, and maybe that has to do with uh, the reason that um, there is this ice. If somehow um, water from the lake gets here in the groundwater, or well, I'm just guessing at this moment. <laughs> anyway, it's an interesting phenomena that. Uh, you walk in here and just in a few feet it just gets really cold. And the water is here dripping from the ceiling. So it's a really a nice um, auditory experience to be there because it's, it's, it's very silent. And then you hear the dripping of the water all around you. And there at the right you see the ice. Some ice on the rocks. And then you can crawl under that rock or under the overhang you can get deeper inside. I haven't gone in too deep, but if you go deeper inside to the, to the left and to the right, you can see that the cave goes deeper. And at the moment it was uh, mostly frozen, so it, it wasn't accessible. But I seem to remember from when I was here before, later in the summertime, that uh, the water level is... Uh, the ice level is less 
and you can get some deeper into the cave itself. So here we are under that overhang and unfortunately I didn't have a really good light with me. But you see the ice <coughs> on the floor level, near the ice on the rocks. You see an occasional water drop falling. And now we're going back out again. There you also see some ice from the hanging from the rocks and dripping. And again, this is really not far or deep underground. Outside it's really hot and inside it is really cold. And now it's turning around, you see the, the cave opening. light pouring in through the cave opening. And then again in videos like this it's difficult to get a sense of scale but um, I'm standing upright. How high shall it be? Let's see, maybe some 30 feet, maybe less. Out again, climbing over the rocks. Back towards the heat of the summer day. And you can see here the originally this was a much larger cave, but the uh, the ceiling has caved in and the this you see all over the place in this um, in this area. There's volcanic activity um, everywhere, or the uh, the results of the activity, and many caves, many places where you can go underground or just see. the results of the volcanic eruptions. And here it's just uh, sped up a little bit and just walking around just to give you an, another sense of this area. And just because very close by where we will get in just a minute there's another depression in the ground. But in this case let's see we'll get there soon. But in this case, it, there is no, no cave entrance, so it's just the cave and ceiling, and that's it. Still walking around, and here we can come to that cave and area. So you see it's, it's mainly rock. There is not really much soil that covers the, the rock. And yet there are so many trees that grow here, so much vegetation. And then I'm always curious, like how, how can those trees grow here? 
what how can they even get their roots in between those rocks You can see these rocks are very, uh, what's the word, porous, many little holes in them, so maybe that's the reason why the trees can grow here. And there in the back you see the road I got here, Forest Road 49 in California. That's it. Thank you very much for watching.